Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again today. So today we're going to be taking a look at the DJI Inspire 1 remote control. More specifically, we're going to be setting these buttons on the back. You have C1 and C2. These are momentary switches, so they don't stay on when you press them. Now the way I have mine set up is for the camera gimbal, so I can pitch and yaw. As standard out the box, this scroll wheel will make your camera look up and down. But when I press the C1 button, it changes from looking up and down to panning left and right. When I finish panning, I can simply press the C1 button again and have it operate in the up and down position again. The C2 button I use to reset the gimbal. This is handy for returning your gimbal back to dead center, also if you need to fly FPV. Setting up the C1 and C2 buttons is extremely easy. You can see the RC button here. You just select that and then at the top select RC control settings. Here you can choose what the C1 and C2 do. As you can see I have C1 as gimbal pitch and yaw and C2 as my reset. If you tap on this, you can actually make it do different things. For example, if I want to change C2 to do something else other than reset the gimbal, I can select one of these options. Here I've selected battery info. Now when I press the C2 button on the back, it brings me up the live battery information. But personally, I don't find this helpful. Here I'm going to select toggle map and live view. Now every time I press that button, it instantly switches between the map and live view. This is slightly more interesting than the battery information. You can configure both buttons to do what you want. You don't have to have it as I show you here. So for example, if you want to have the gimbal reset on C1, then just select it in the C1 menu. So here's a quick example of it in use. Here you can see me pitching up and down. I press the button and then I can pitch left. Press the button again and I can pitch up again. You can see how quick it was for me to line myself up in shot and take a picture. That's how easy this system is. You can still place your finger on the screen and move the camera around using your finger if you want to. But the C1-C2 method is much less clumsier. That's all for this video guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also join the DJI Inspire Owners Group, links in the description.